Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel. My name's Matt. Um, this is my this is my workspace. Um, <coughs> still got crooky. Just gonna coffee on the go. Um, so what we're working on today is a Batman model, an eight scale. Um, you might have seen it on my short or my reel. But he looks a bit like that. And this one is by CA 3D Studios. Um, 3D printed on my fantastic um, Elegoo Saturn 2. So I'm going to take time with doing painting the base. And the detail on this is amazing. All primed up and ready to go. Still got a bit of tape on, and we're going to leave it on until we finish our first coat of paint. So, I want to tackle the base. So, move everything out of the way because this is going to get messy. And we need a mud colour. Don't need those. I need a tile. And we need a mud colour which will be uh Vallejo model colour, black brown. And we're gonna put some highlights in of chocolate brown. Let's give it a good shake. And we need quite a bit of this. And we are going to put some water with this, thin it a little bit, make it last a bit longer, and it will get into all the small areas a lot easier. And there's nothing, there's nothing um, technical about this. They're just going to put it on. So this is where I'll probably speed up the, the video in. Come back to it a bit later. Now I think this colour that I'm using, black brown was from a the Vallejo Rust colour set and if you have a look there it separates the pigment separates so that means if you thin it down a lot when you're doing your rusty vehicles or whatever it'll look rusty There we go, quick as that. That is the first layer. Almost done, missed that bit. Across there. There's a few. Let's go back the way. Um, a few rocks there we can highlight a bit later and give it a bit of a wash and blah 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 blah. Right, so. Getting all around the edge. What we're going to do when we're finished is we're going to put a bit of foam on there. Yeah. Two minutes. First layer done. Leave that to dry. And uh, wash our brush out. Wipe it off. In a paper towel. 
Let's move you out the way. Okay. Ah, uh, the grey. Another time. So, I want to start from the inside out. So, I don't want to do these fence parts yet. I'll concentrate on that bit. So, from black to grey. Um, so, this is going to go on loosely. So, I want to keep some black areas. Oh, put it down. Uh, this is Paleo Game Colour Cold Grey. Keep this thick, I think. No, we're a bit, bit off with the kitchen roll. Um, we're just gonna go on like that. Is on because it's November, which is not very good outside or inside when the, the heating is off from a printer. Right, so like that, like that. Across the bottom. Oh, that bit across the bottom. Oh, yes, grass. So we're going to go down, do that bit like that. Uh, doesn't have to be perfect. Because we're going to put another layer over the top of this, of lighter colour. And then... Wash over the top after that. Okay. So this is where you can have a bit of fun with a big brush. Doesn't matter. So when you get to use to do miniatures and spit and technical and you've got your glasses on and your tongue sticking out and trying to concentrate and stuff.
most of this will be covered up by other colours and mould and washes and stuff. But as long as we've got some kind of brick colour on there. do, I think. Right, I'm going to leave that to dry. I'm going to go to work. And I'll come back later and do another layer. Welcome back. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, where were we? Base, I've dry brushed some chocolate brown over the top. So it's got a bit lighter. I'll wait for that to dry now, so I'll move that out of the way. Um, a couple of rocks have been painted with the cold grey, which is that one there. Okay. Um, we need to lighten this, but not too much, just a blob here and there, so what I'm going to use is deck tan. I um, seem to use this a lot with things like eyes, because it's not that, uh, not that bright. Um, so what I want to do with this is just, I want to dry brush, but I don't want to dry brush. If I hit that like that, it's quite bright. So let's get some kitchen hot. Now we're going to take most of this off and we're just going to hit down on the edges like that. Um, that kind of effect on there. Um, wherever you see see that it might need light or a raised area, you can dab if that's the way you want to do it. Just in the areas like that. Try not to add uh, brush strokes. Because you're going to get lines down like that. Let me see. Lines down like that. So if you do that, you don't get any brush strokes. So. My paintbrush is a little bit wet. So it's thinned the paint down a bit. Uh, there we go, it's lightening up now. Just in areas, pick up a bit, dab a bit off. Wherever you think there's light, going to be light. Now, right underneath here, there's the gargoyle. So, we're going to avoid that. We're going to hit that corner there. Brush stroke. Get rid of the brush stroke, dab it away. Okay. Like that. Doesn't have to be precise, just random. You could go across there like that if you want to. But always go back to that. Dab, dab, dab. Dab, dab, dab. If you don't dab too much, you can always take it off with your finger or a bit of tissue. Um, hit across there. 
Now if you hit it with the side of the brush that way, you're not going to get any brush strokes. So you want lightness down towards the bottom. Hit, hit, that way. Hit, hit. Okay, clear. Yeah. All right. So basically a dry, uh, plain area. So dab, dab, dab. Hit down. You can rub across if you want to. Take a bit off. Okay, there we go. There's what we're up to at the moment. Um, all lines should be going down like that, like that. So it's basically a grey block at the moment, and that is how it's going to be for a little while. Um, Like that, and like that. Hit it down, you get a highlight across the top, hit it upwards, you get a highlight across the bottom, which you don't want. So, about direction and light source. That's that so far. And we'll come back with a lighter colour I think. Just just slightly Slightly lighter. Okay, yeah, like that. And I've done the wall on the gates. So this is going to be exactly the same thing. Where you pick up a bit of paint, you dab it off, and then you drag down and it hits the top highlights. There you go. Like that. So drag down, pick up a bit of paint, take most of it off. Now watch. We're going to go down this way. Okay, so lightly that way. So just hit the top of your object. Like there, see? Down, 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 down. All the way across, like that. Easy peasy, easy peasy. So what we're trying to do is do things in three easy steps, which is base color, a highlight and shadow, or your shadow, your main 
same color or your first highlight and then your second highlight. Nice, but I'll do it again. Bit of paint, dab it off, and run it down that way. Okay, pretty cool. I hate mixing paint. I'm trying to get sh the right shade. So I work this out, and it works. It doesn't work all the time, but on some of this size, it works. Okay, All right. That's one. Second part. Same again. Okay, All right. let me show you. Let me get closer to this. <clears throat> and do it downward. It's like dry brushing without it dry brushing and paint going absolutely everywhere and everything looks chalky. Because my brush is wet and I'm only taking off a little bit. So we've got black showing through. We got the first tone of grey and the second tone, which is our deck tan. Going across there like that. Symbols. Am I allowed to say symbols? I don't know. There we go. I like that. If you've got more of a light source, then give it a another hit. And that's where we're going to go. blocks on here. Just gonna hit this across the top. Take a bit. Hit across the top. Hit across the top. Yeah. I think all right, I'm gonna wait for this paint to dry. And I'll probably get back to it tomorrow sometime. Um, 
Yeah, that's about going for a moment. moment. Uh, see you, Matt. Alright, guys. Uh, another part to this. And uh, now they've got a bit, a bit of paint dry. Is we're going with some ghost grey, which looks like that stuff there. It's a very light colour, almost white. And we're just brushing down across the bottom. Across there. Like that. Like that. Like that. And across the top as well. And only in areas. Not all the way across. And down. Always down. There's a reason why we're going down. I'll do tap a bit on there, a bit on there, a bit across there. That'll do me. I'll come back this to this tomorrow and um, figure out what we're doing next. Uh, bye. Okay, so time to start the doing the gargoyle, uh, which is going to turn out like this. As I said, it works in some videos. Um, there you go, one guard coil. In greys. Took about 10 minutes. Right, I'm off to work. This is day two, I'm off to work. And uh, we'll carry on tomorrow. <laughs>